Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Wa'akwa, from us, Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson I want to bring out of uh, the prophet Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 9 through verse 11. And that's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 9. And it reads, For as the heavens are higher, than the earth so are my ways higher than their ways and my thoughts than your thoughts right so since the heavenly father you know he's the creator of everything you know hey because he's the only true living power so his ways are 10 times way higher than our ways that's why we uh put our faith and love and trust in him and trust in his ways because the ways of heavenly father is righteous and pure you know so we trust in the ways of him and definitely we being the sons and daughters of the true living power which is Yahweh of israel so trusting the ways of the heavenly father is better and his ways are higher than our ways you know isaiah 55 and verse 9 for as the heaven are higher than the earth right so as the higher so as the heaven higher than the earth as well too so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts right so our thoughts is not the same thoughts as the heavenly father you know our ways are not the ways of the heavenly father his thoughts is not the ways of our thoughts are not the ways of his thoughts you know his ways are way higher than our ways you know isaiah 55 and verse 10 for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth from not thither but water the earth and make it to bring forth and bud and make it to give seed to the shower and bread to the eater. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. So shall my word that go forth out of my mouth, which is the Heavenly Father speaking, and it shall not return unto me void. Right? So the words of the Heavenly Father doesn't go unto him void. It pushes forth, it moves forward, you know. But it shall accomplish that what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right, so the words of Heavenly Father doesn't go on void, it goes forth, and it accomplishes that which is pleases Him in His sight, because He's the true Creator, which is Yahweh of it, you know, Yahweh of Israel. You know, anything, everything goes, you know, without the Father's permission, you know, so He's in control of everything, the true living power, which is Yahweh of Israel. So the words out of Heavenly Father's mouth, it doesn't go on void, it doesn't return, um, it doesn't uh, return unto Him void, it goes forth. And it accomplish him what he pleased, you know, in his sight, you know. I'm going to read again, Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth, and it shall not return unto me void, but it shall please accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I sent it. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of the prophet Isaiah 55, verse 9 through verse 11. With that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.